Sales managers get asked uh, all the time, what's the appropriate blend level for my operation, be it a convenience store or a travel center like we're at here today? The original engine manufacturers uh, have approved B20 uh, on virtually every diesel engine uh, in the country today, so customers can take advantage of, of those B20 uh, blends. Depending on the state incentives uh, or the mandates, uh, a B2, a B5, a B11, and a B20 are the most common blends that we see in the marketplace. So there are a number of considerations to take into account when determining what blend level. First of all, what's your familiarity with biodiesel? Are you implementing biodiesel for the first time? We have a lot of customers who will start with a, a lower blend, perhaps a B2 or B5, and once they become comfortable with biodiesel and biodiesel blends, uh, then they will ask us, hey, should I consider upping my blend to a B10, a B15, or even a B20? We get asked those questions all the time. Second, you know, what are the blending economics? If economics are, are very positive, if there's money to be made from higher blends of biodiesel, then it makes sense to go from a, a B2, a B5, potentially all the way up to B20. You want to make sure that you're taking full advantage of all of the state incentives. So for example, in Iowa, there's an incentive for B5, four and a half cents per gallon retailer incentive, and now there's an additional tax break for B11 blends and higher. And then finally, seasonality, as you're going into winter, you may want to dial down your blends uh, a little bit, uh, take that into account, and then dial them up again in the summertime.